is Drew here from Drew's Crochet and in this video we're going to be looking at the second step of how to make Stanley the Snail's shell. Now if you missed the first step I'll put a link up at the top so you'll be able to go back to that video first of all before you watch this one. Okay so this one will be the second step and please remember if you like these videos hit that bell down below and subscribe so you know when the next one's going to come out. Okay let's get on with it. Now so far we've made the fundamental shape of this shell and every stitch has been back loop only leaving, I don't know if you can see that, the front loops free all the way around this cone all in a spiral all the way up. Now in this step we want to single crochet on every front loop all the way around. Now how we do that it can get a bit difficult but if we go slowly and surely we'll get there. So I want you to turn it upside down so because the way we're going to be doing it is going round that way in the shape and all you have to do is just get the first stitch or probably actually can you see that so miss that one go into that stitch there and just do a normal single crochet now I'm going to continue this all the way around quite difficult to see because it's hard to think I understand that I was going to go all the way around this row and I'm going to come back to you when we get round to the first spirally bit. Right, so I've just crocheted all the way round, single crochet, simple single crochet. Now we're coming to the first bit of the spiral. So what we do is we find the first stitch with the front loop. Now if it's easier, just fold what you've just crocheted in and then you'll be able to see along the line, see along the, the, like the profile there, you'll be able to see the stitches that you need to go into. So just find the first stitch you go to and again just do a simple single crochet in. Now we're going to do this method all the way round, it's just a continuing spiral right to the top. And although it's quite easy, it can be a bit tricky and as much as you have to keep folding in to find out where you're going to go. Be careful not to miss a row as you go up because you want, see this lovely ridge that's forming as you go around, you want that to be a continuing spiral all the way up to the top. Okay, and when we've done that, you can go to the next step, step three, and I'll show you what we have to do then. 